How you going? So the other day, I found out that a YouTuber we all know and trust is sleeping with my three-year-old nephew. The children's animator Odd Ones Out, also known as James Rowson. And not only is he sleeping with my nephew, but he also enjoys taking photographs of children all over the world. He's what? He's creepy. He's creepy? So somebody needs to put this creep in his place. And luckily, I happen to already be fighting him in iDubbbz's Creator Clash boxing event on May 14th in Florida. And I reckon I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Okay, now you probably think I'm an idiot for traveling all the way from lovely Australia to the one place in the world that doesn't have free healthcare for a boxing match. <coughs> and I am. But at least if I make a device that allows me to get him from a distance, hopefully I won't get hurt. Which means the device will have to be small and sneaky enough to fit inside my boxing glove. Which rules out my first idea of just releasing my giant Beyblade into the ring. And the second place my mind goes is to that extendo arm from Inspector Gadget, which should be pretty easy to make. And for a prototype, I just cut some wood and bolted it together to make this. That is pretty fun. And then I couldn't resist putting some scissors on the end to see how it would work. Pull. And I could use this to give Odd Ones Out a haircut, but I don't think this is gonna be powerful enough or give me enough range to knock him out. So I'm scrapping that idea and gonna try using something I love, blank rounds. And when I used them before to make the world's most powerful hammer, they had enough power to fling a nail through my roof and carpet instantly. But this time I need more power. So I just painted the rounds red and now they should be twice as strong. And I reckon if I get a pipe and weld a cap on the end, no, 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 no. then get a piece of round bar, which the boxing glove will sit on the end of, which slides inside the first pipe. Then I just drilled a hole in the bottom of the round bar and put a blank round on the end. And now when I punch, it should slide down inside the pipe, hitting the cap, setting off the round and firing the glove out of the pipe. Okay, let's see if it works. And I decided to set it up in my bench vise for the first test, as that isn't made out of squishy meat like my forearm. Then I just worked out what technique I'm gonna use for loading and dropping the glove down the pipe. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Then once I figured that out, I put in my ear protection and let it go. Oh, this is scary. Three, two, one. Ah, now it's even scarier taking it out. And it's always so much scarier when things you're expecting to go boom don't. Ah. So instead of hand dropping it, I decided to use a long stick to set it off. And... What even happened? That was pathetic. I obviously just have way too much weight using this steel bar. Feel how heavy this is compared to aluminium. So I welded another tube inside the pipe so it could fit a thinner aluminium tube and then tried again, but this time with the blank round in the end of the pipe so I could set it off consistently with a hammer. Five, four, three, Two, one. That is pathetic. 
And that was better, but it's still horrible. So this time I took off the boxing glove to see how fast it would go. And that is the speed I'm looking for. But I can only get it to go that fast if I just shoot the metal rod into him. Which is murder. So I need to find something with even more power than these blank rounds. And I think I know exactly where I can get this. Nangs. These canisters, which have 800 times more air crammed inside them that want to be in there, should provide enough volume of air to push the glove out at high speed. Now, all I need to do is figure out a way to get the gas out. That's pretty cool. Whoa, that's cold. And that worked. And at first I thought I could just do a similar thing to the blanks and have a barrel with a spike at the bottom, which when I punch, it punctures the canister and shoots it out. Which does work, but is very inconsistent. That was so close to my head. And also means I actually need to get close enough to land a punch. So instead, I'm gonna use one of these bicycle pumps, which despite the brand name are tiny. And they have these little needles inside, which puncture the cartridge. So I just attach that to this chamber, which will hold the pressure. Then attach this trigger from an airbrush onto that. And then attached a barrel onto that. I also got some leather from my mum's room to use to strap the whole thing to my arm. Then I just machined down this aluminium rod with some O-rings on it, which should create a really good seal. But more importantly, this noise. And to make sure the glove keeps a good seal, I also lubricated it with the sponsor of today's video, Honey. Honey is America's number one shopping tool, which automatically searches for promo codes on the internet so you don't have to. Once you install Honey on your browser, it's always there at the top, right up here. And this little icon, that's what saves you money. The best thing about Honey is you actually forget it's even there and only notice it when you're at the checkout and then Honey comes in and does its thing and then you've saved a bunch of money. Look at this. I was purchasing this circular saw and now I saved $27. Wow, I love money. I've been using Honey for years and have saved so much money. It's so easy and works on all your favorite websites that you're already using. Whether you're buying clothes, food, or a tent, Honey will save you money. So go now and add it to your computer at joinhoney.com slash I did a thing. Okay, back to it. Let's give the device a test. So I put the whole thing in the vise and screwed in the first can. And a second canister. And after some pathetic misfires, I got it working. Four, three, two. Whoa. Five, four, three, two. Oh my God. And that was super fast and was probably at half power, which is great. So now I just need to put the rest of it together. So I got a cheap boxing glove and cut out the foam to make room for some thinner foam and then place this PVC tube inside the glove, which the aluminium tube will slot into. And then I glued down a piece of shark proof fabric from my previous video, which should stop the metal rod from just shooting through the boxing glove and will hopefully push the glove instead. Then I put my hand through the leather and wrapped the whole thing up on my arm using some boxing wraps. And here we go. Besides the extra long wraps, you can't really tell this isn't a normal boxing glove and actually looks very pretty. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's test it out. Let's plug in the cartridge. And let's see how this works. Here we go. That killed my ears. <laughs> that is so, and it's getting cold. It's getting very cold. <laughs> okay, let's test it again and see how accurate it is. Five, four, three, two. Whoa! That is so strong. 
Oh, it's cold. But it's actually surprisingly accurate and think it would definitely hit whoever you are pointing it at, as the last thing they expect is for your glove to fly off. And it also looks like it has quite a bit of power. So to find out, I got these milk bottles with clear milk to punch. I have no idea what's gonna happen And it seems pretty consistent and would definitely hurt to get hit by almost as much as the freezing cartridges which are pressed up against my skin <laughs> underneath the wraps. Ah. And you know, if I decide that that isn't quite enough power and I want to make it more dangerous, I can always just take the nut off the end and replace it with a spike. I have no idea what's going to happen. Three, two, Oh my god. Why did I not put something to protect my 3D printer? That is So I think I'm probably ready for the boxing match now. But just in case they find the glove, I have also been training with my coach Jeff. Hi, my name's Jeff. From Get Smart Boxing. Who has assured me this really is the best way to get tough. So get your tickets now to the Creator Clash to come see me fight the child's entertainer Odd Ones Out. The in-person tickets are almost sold out and I really want some supporters in the crowd. But if you can't make it there, there are also online tickets so you can watch the fight wherever you are. There are also plenty of other great YouTubers who may or may not be sleeping with children, like Michael Reeves vs. Graham Stephens, iDubbs vs. Dr. Mike, Gamer Grumps vs. that epic mealtime guy, and many more. There's a link for the fight in the description. So get your tickets now, and I'll see you in Florida on May 14th. Thanks for watching. If you liked that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos.